We are going to talk about calculation methods in your rebate management module. And I'm going to use vendor rebates because I had a request from someone who wanted to see some examples of vendor rebates uh, in, the, in the rebate management module. So let's jump in. Now you've probably watched my last video and you know how to create a new rebate, but let's just walk through it quickly. So we're going to go to new. You can type a description. So let's say we have a rebate agreement with Amazon and it's going to be a vendor rebate. So you can autom because I'm working in the vendor module um, already, the, the filters on vendor, it's automatically filtered on vendor. It's really nice. Now here reconcile by deal or by line, you can have this, agreement for Amazon have multiple lines. So multiple different calculations, multiple different postings, uh, multiple, multiple different um, amounts. So if you wanted to use a percentage for a specific item and maybe a quantity based, um, I'm sorry, if you wanted to do a percentage for an overall invoice total, you could do that, or you can do um, a quantity, if you wanted for a, like 20 cents per quantity. I mean, there's just so much you can do here. Um, in this case, we're just gonna do, actually, let's just do by line. And so I'm just gonna pick a random rebate currency here. And for Amazon, open this up, I'm gonna add a line. And here's where I get to select a specific vendor or a, specific, a group of vendors, you can, your option or all vendors, right? All vendors might get this, uh, might have this vendor rebate agreement. It's up to you. Um, for this case, I'll just select the first one here. Now here is where you can say all items, a group of items. It's, it's really um, a really nice setup here. You can see the rebate management group and we're, um, I can show you this as well, where to get these items um, set up. But for now, we'll just say all. And then we come over here to rebate management deals. Now, this is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about these calculation methods. Now, Microsoft has these all in order. They start from the lowest rebate calculation all the way to the highest. So stepped is going to generate a very uh, the lowest rebate. And then the total is going to be the highest. I'm going to show you this. I added this to my blog as well. You're going to love it. I, I actually put this Excel document that, that will help you along the way as well. And then some information for you. Um, now here you have the, the option of basis or, I'm sorry, quantity or value. And this is all, so say we wanna do quantity and we wanna do every time an invoice is posted, we wanna do a minimum quantity oops, of one. And then here's where I select the posting profile. Now, this is how I tell the system what to do. Now, if I come into this posting profile, a little bit of accounting 101 here. So if I have a vendor invoice, typically a vendor invoice is going to be a debit to a cost account and a credit to a liability account. So when you generate a rebate, what's going to happen? We need to debit our liability because it's reducing the amount of liability that we should have on our balance sheet and credit an expense account. And that's exactly what Microsoft has set up here. We're going to debit or reduce our liability here to this rebates accrual, and we're going to credit an expense account for our accrual. And then here is where we're going to tell a system where we wanna post the rebate. In this case, we're going to have it go specifically to this specific vendor, but I could use the um, the, the sold to or deal line account. Yeah, deal line account. And what that means is that this vendor will get that uh, rebate. All right. So now we go into dates. I've walked through this with you. Remember, all of this has to be filled in um, in order. I have to finish everything on the general tab setup before I come into the dates. Then once I set up the dates, I like to accumulate, accumulate by invoice. You can accumulate however you like. It's really nice to have that feature. And now we can go to lines and we're gonna add, now here's where I say quantity one to whatever quantity, I wanna take 20 cents off. But you have the option over here under general and changing this to bait to value. And this is where you can say, if my value is zero to 50,000, 
I want to give a percentage off of 2.5%. Love it. Beautiful. Now, with all this said, now you can submit to workflow, get your approvals, make sure it's active before it starts generating those vendor rebates. But I have some set up, I have some approved, they're ready to go. I want to show you how this actually, how the calculations actually work. So we'll start with stepped. It's the lowest calculation method, and it calculates on a step-by-step -step basis where each deal line incrementally con con contribute to the rebate until the sales quantity or the value is reached. What does that mean in layman's terms? <laughs> Let's look at this um, Excel document. So step. So this is where, if we have this rebate agreement, you can see here, zero to 4999 is 2.5%, five to 749 is 3%, 750 to 999 is 3.25%. And thank you for the person who gave me this example. Thank you so much. Um, and so this is the bucket. Our actual invoice is 1,083,500. dollars So this stepped method is taking the difference between um, each line. So the from, the two, from, two, from, two. It's taking all that difference and that's the cumulative value until the quantity is reached. So all of these added together equal to the 1,083,500. dollars so let's see that in D365. So I'm in a process. I have a couple of um, purchase orders ready to, to look at. So um, yeah, let's look at how this works. So here is my accruals. And there's two different, if I go into source transactions, I can see invoice number 225, go into source transactions and invoice number 226. I just made them the same rate. Sorry about that. Uh, but you can see here, my calculation is a little off. There's a little bit of a rounding issue. Um, not a big, close enough for government work. <laughs> okay, so we've done stepped. I'm gonna actually delete these transactions because I can't use them again if they're already pulled in. So the next one that we're gonna talk about is cumulative. The cumulative calculation method uses just one calculation line to calculate the rebate. So it says wherever that amount of that invoice falls into that bucket, that's the percentage that we're taking. It's super simple. So let's process that accrual so we can see these amounts. And here we're going to transactions. It's 37,922.50. And this is how that was generated. It took the total amount of the invoice. It said, where is that 1,083,500 fall here? It falls into um, this four, number four, 3.5 percentage, and that's how we got the rate. And that's spot on, right on the money. The next one we're going to look at is the rolling. So that's the next highest. The rolling calculation method calculates all possible calculation lines for the deal. If there are multiple calculation lines and more than one of them is reached, all the calcula calculation lines uh, that are reached will be used, but upper thresholds apply to each percentage. That's a lot of words, right? So let's process it and let's look at it. So look how high this is, $105,000 in rebates. Let me show you what it did. It took that invoice, and it went and it calculated the highest value on each one. And that's how, so $499.99, it, it really took each, and some companies might get that. I think that's great if you can, <laughs> if you can get that kind of agreement. Um, I think that probably falls more in line with uh, royalty payments, but we'll, we'll, we'll uh, show you this calculation method in case you ever need it. That matches right on the money, 105,359. Again, this um, example is gonna be in my blog so you can have it available to use. And let's look at the final one, which is total, which is the highest form of rebate. So total here, we're gonna process our accruals, go into transactions and you can see 132,000. The total calculation method uses all calculation lines to calculate the rebate. It applies the total quantity to calculate the rebate for each calculation line that is reached 
and each calculation line applies its percentage to the full amount. <laughs> All right, so you can see it here. 1,083,500 is our invoice amount. And here is how we're calculating the 132,728,500. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm going to pop this in my blog. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, this was showing you the different calculation methods Microsoft gives us in both uh, vendor and customer uh, rebate management deals. Have a great day.